Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am making a video um, putting together my new binders and envelopes. I have not cash stuffed in a very, very long time due to traveling for CNA work. Um, but I am back home currently in Arkansas at my, at my family's house. Um, so let's get into the video. I finally bought a Moterm cash stuffing wallet. I am absolutely in love. Um, it has a coin pouch, even though I got my own little coin pouch envelope. And I put the notepad in here uh, just so I could use it for grocery lists. And it came with an attachment. Um, I am in love with it. So much space, so organized. I have already used it and gotten compliments on how organized I am. So I'm going to start off by um, putting these new envelopes that I got in here. Um, so... I got groceries, gas, eating out, and fun. Um, these four are from the same Etsy shop. They are see-through on the back. They are um, from OK Plans. They are absolutely adorable. Um, I also got a coins envelope and I'm going to have to look at where that one was from. Let's see. The coins envelope is from Simple Budgets on Etsy. I'll have all of this listed down below, all linked. Um, so I was just gonna put this together real quick. I'm gonna put my coins right there. And then insert those. So now we have groceries, gas, eating out, and fun. Um, and what I'm actually going to do real quick is I have a couple hundred dollar bills that I need to take to the bank. So I'm just going to stick them in here. I did not get a bank envelope, which I should have, but I don't have any money stuffed in here yet. So I'm just going to stuff it in fun so that it's in my wallet and I can take it to the bank. So that's what it looks like from the back. So, I'm in love with this wallet. If you don't have one, I highly recommend it. Not sponsored. So, there's that. Got that all put together. So, I'm going to be kind of stacking my stuff over here. Uh, this binder right here is receipts. I have some on the top that I need to scan on fetch. And I just kind of organize them into gas, eating out, groceries, and random. Um... I just use those and that way if there's any that I need for taxes at the end of the year or anything, I have them in here and I do use Fetch um, and I'll put my code in the description box. I also have this um, cash box, uh, box challenge from Sav Saves. Whoop. I have something in there, some stamps in there from traveling. Um, so yeah, this box is from Sav Saves. Um, all the envelopes, I don't know what I added this up to. So I'm, whenever I start stuffing it, it'll honestly be a surprise. I don't even know what numbers I put in here. Her envelopes are all so cute. Um, I actually won this in one of her giveaways. So I'm excited to stuff this. And then I, my other box up here is a box that I actually made. Um, I have some extra labels in here. Um, this is inspired by um, Tara Budgets on YouTube. Her Etsy is Dog Mom Crafts, and these are inspired by her. Um, but I just made these little envelopes. This one is its own, like, own style, kind of. It's not all mixed together. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of this kind of farmhouse uh, rustic look and I'm in love. Let me know if y'all want me to start an Etsy shop where I sell these. Um, I can do ones that are all mixed together styles or if you want me to sell them like this, like in different, I don't even know what to call them. I'm having a brain blank. Um, like different sets of styles. I will do that. I like to make 100, 100 envelope boxes. 
I don't like doing the other ones just because I feel like they fit the best for 100 envelopes. So I'm going to start stuffing that and I'm excited because I actually made it myself and I have fun making these. They take forever, but I can start selling those if y'all want me to and let me know if y'all want different styles or if you just want all the envelopes mixed together, I can do that too. Um, so yeah, I do have a little bit of money that I need to stuff into one of my envelopes today. Um, but let's start with my first binder. Um, it's a light pink binder off of Amazon. I love these kind of leathery ones. Um, I already have all of the envelopes and stuff in order on how I want them to be, um, in here. So I'm going to turn it this way. Tuck this. So these are, um, let me see. I believe these, yeah, these are like my short-term revolving funds. Um, so we'll just go through these. I'm probably going to start in the back. So our first one is holidays. Um, and all of my trackers are from Sav Saves. And all of these laminated labeled envelopes are from Dog Mom, Dog Mom Crafts on Etsy, which is Tara Budgets on YouTube. I'm in love. I might be doing some new envelopes soon just because I have some that I stuck stickers on the back of and didn't like the stickers and they left sticky marks. So let me know if you know how to get the stickiness off of them and I might do that. Next I have beauty, shopping. I love all of these trackers, all from Sav Saves. Personal. Um, health. This is one of them that I have the goal sticker on the back that I don't like. If you do hear any background noise, I do have twin four-year-old niece and nephews and a house full of dogs and family that I'm in. So, sorry about that. Health. We have car maintenance. All of these are empty, starting all over. Um, Jordan, that is my husband. This is just uh, for anything he wants or wants to save up for. We have a couple things that we use it for. Um, his tracker. And then this envelope, I don't have anything on, but I do have a sticker that I was just kind of wanting to put on it because I know it's for rent because of my tracker right here. Um, so I'm probably about to put that sticker on it and the envelope that I need to cash stuff is in here. Um, so my husband's family is in a band and they travel around and do shows at like restaurants and private parties. And this is one of their stickers. Their band name is called Shaw Revolver. Um, so yeah, they sell like these stickers and pins and I love this sticker. So I was just going to go ahead and put it on my rent envelope just because it kind of matches my pink theme and rent didn't have anything so we're just gonna stick that on there um so there we go um the lettering on each revolver is a d and a b for his sister's names dresden and brielle um, and then it's their dad is also in the band. So y'all should go look them up on YouTube and Facebook. They are amazing in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to use that sticker for, even though, you know, it doesn't really match <laughs> with what the envelope is for. Um, and then the rest of this money we are actually stuffing into Jordan and it's 20, 40, 60, 81. Um, this is something from something he sold um, of his and he wants it to go in here. I'm sorry I say um a lot. I just realized I was doing that. So we're putting uh, $100 in there. And today is the 15th. So 815 plus 100. I hate writing with rings. So... I love using these trackers from Sav Saves. I never thought of doing something like that before. But so we have money in our cash envelopes now. 
So $100 in Jordan. And this one is complete. So this one is our short-term revolving. Um, I'm gonna stand that up. I'm gonna move them over some. Okay, that's garbage. So our next binder is our long-term sinking funds. Um, it's kind of a darker pink, also off of Amazon. I got a couple new binders. This blue one is what I used to use, but I'm into pink, like very into pink. And this cash tray, I will have to link this because I um, looks like it's from Funds and Fun on Etsy, um, but I'll link it. And I absolutely love this. It looks like it's a 3D printed cash stuffing tray. Love it. Um, so we're just going to do the same thing with this one. Um, stuffing our longer term sinking funds so first we have this christmas cash tracker and envelope bundle from sav saves um she, i believe she still has some of these on her etsy so if you want that i'll have all of the etsy's linked that i got these from then i have retirement still have trackers from sav saves pets we, in the future, want to get, like, a Bengal cat, um, and then we also have a cat that stays with my husband's parents that we'll be getting back, so this will just be money that we're saving up for whenever we're ready to have them. Um, this is school, uh, for my husband's schooling that he needs and for me to go back to nursing school if and when I want to. We have travel, we love to travel. So I wanna get that built up as much as I can. Just realized I have some Sharpie that stained onto there. And I hope you can't hear cars going by. Then we have savings to build up savings accounts. House for, um, this is for like decor and it's also for saving up for a down payment to buy a house. Um, this can also go towards if we want to get an apartment first before we get a house, um, because right now we don't have anything. We just travel and stay with family. So there's that. Um, I have a RAV4 envelope because that is the car that I am wanting to save up for. So that'll be saved up for a down payment and then it'll be used. It'll be put into the revolving funds binder to be used as a bill, which for right now, I just do my bills out of my bank account and don't cash stuff them, but I might cash stuff them in the future. It does help me so much. So next we have emergency. We don't have an emergency fund built up, so we're working on that. Uh, we do have some credit card debt that we will be working on paying off. Um, so this is just, this debt envelope will be extra payments, even though we already make weekly payments on them. And this will just be something that we build up during the month. And it will be an extra payment at the end of the month on the one or a couple of the cards. Um, so there's debt. I think that is my most important one that we want to focus on right now. So these are like high priority, long term sinking funds. So our last binder that I have is the binder that I've used for a while. Um, inside I have just a few cash breakdown trackers. This one is from Simple Budgets. Um, this one I need to erase. I think it was a freebie that I got from Dog Mom Crafts. And then this one I believe is also from Dog Mom Crafts. I could be wrong on that. And then these are some of the thousand dollar placeholders and about half of them I wrote 500 on um, so that I can use those as $500 placeholders. And then I have some thousand ones also. So those are from a couple different places on Etsy. So I'm gonna put those back in here. This is my um, savings challenge binder. So I just kind of keep my little extras in here. So I have my savings challenges that I, I love doing savings challenges, just like I love doing boxes.
to save up. So we're gonna go backwards. So first off, this is a rollover set from Sav Saves. Um, it's just for any extra money left in my wallet every week will get put into here. Um, and we'll just save up as much as we can until I decide what to do with it. This is also another savings challenge from Sav Saves. Um, I call it the zebra challenge because it's like a zebra stripe tracker kind of. Um, so I labeled this one $500. There are 20 stripes to fill in. So I'm doing them $25 each. So every time I put $25 in here, I will color in a stripe. I plan on getting some really colorful Sharpies to use. Um, but I kind of trim that down to slide in more easily and keep it just hidden in there, kind of. Um, and then this is another set from Sav Saves. Um, I swear, so much of my stuff is from Sav Saves, but it's all so cute. And I think it's kind of like spunky, kind of. I don't know how to describe it, but I love it. Um, so this is another set. She calls it the Tetris Challenge. Um but it is the save 500. Um, I've tried to start this so many times uh, while traveling just because I do love it, but I'm never able to finish it and keep doing it. We always end up somewhere that doesn't have my bank or just whatever, it just never works out. And yet again, if you haven't guessed it, another set from Sob Saves. If you have an Etsy or you make any savings challenges, reach out to me because I would be glad to add them to my savings challenge binder. I have not really looked into much other ones, just the ones that I've gotten from Sab Saves. Um, but this is the $10 savings challenge. It is like sparkly writing. It is adorable. Uh, I have a gold date on there. Just ignore that. We're not going to hit that. Those are the stickers that I was talking about that I want to remove. So I have this a uh, $10 savings challenge. It adds up to $1,000. Uh, so fun. I'm going to try to only use $10 bills on this. I know it's going to end up like a super thick envelope, but we'll see. I might end up switching them out every now and then. But there is my savings challenge binder. And then I do have a jar coming because currently I'm keeping my coins from every week in here um, but I do have a jar coming here in just a few days um, that'll I'll keep sitting right here to pour my change into every week so if you want to keep seeing my weekly videos please like and subscribe I'm going to try so hard to keep myself posting weekly and it is something I love and it helps me budget so I'm starting at zero again and let's pay off some debt and save some money. Thank you for watching. Again, like and subscribe. Uh, see y'all in the next video. Bye.